The mainframe is very much alive and kicking, despite what people were forecasting in the late 1980s and that there'll be no mainframes as we moved into the new millennium. Yeah, far from it. Mainframes are very much here, part of the IT fabric in the UK, and indeed impact our lives on a daily basis in terms of services we take, take for granted, such as mobile banking. There are a number of challenges with running any IT environment, but I'll pick out two specifically regarding mainframes. Uh, one is an impending skill shortage. Um, everyone did a fantastic job saying there will be no mainframes, so graduates, IT graduates left university and didn't focus on mainframes. So there's a, there's a gap there as those who grew up with mainframes are now nearing retirements. And the second part is around cost and total cost for ownership. You know, mainframe costs are very easy for an organisation to identify and they can be significant. So CIOs, I think, are constantly under pressure to how can they deliver greater value and lower cost from, them, from their mainframe platform. The addition of the mainframe services is a, is a natural addition to our uh, hybrid IT services portfolio. We can now run services from one end of the spectrum, I mean, legacy mainframe, through to the other end of the spectrum, so the hyperscale cloud platform, and all points in between. Um, where we really focus our efforts on are providing obviously a high quality service, but we're able to tackle the two concerns I raised earlier. Firstly, yeah, through our skilled workforce, and the fact that we are taking on graduates from university and training them up to become mainframe experts, so giving us that, that longer runway and that access to skills that many organisations won't have. And secondly, typically we can reduce the TCO significantly in terms of running these platforms. We can extend the life of the platform, we can lower the cost to serve on that platform, and so rather than having a platform that is driving an IT agenda, i.e. I must move off it because, it allows the CIO to have a different conversation which is, yeah, this platform can be an integral part of my services portfolio going forward. I can now make the right decisions based on what's important for my business rather than what's important for a specific IT platform.